Hello friends in today's video we will explore the concept of equipotential surfaces with the help of animation and visuals so the important topics we will cover in this video are what is an equipotential surface and then properties of equipotential surfaces at last we will draw and visualize equipotential surface in 2d and 3d for a single point charge two positive charges and for an electric dipole by following this sequence you will have a crystal clear understanding of the concept of equipotential surfaces by the end of this video so let's get started by first understanding what is an equipotential surface here the term equipotential gives us a partial definition of an equipotential surface which essentially means equal potential in our previous videos we have seen that the formula for potential due to a point charge at a certain position is given by v equals kq divided by r where r is the distance between that position and point charge so if the distance remains constant the potential will also remain the same keeping this in mind if we consider number of points at a fixed distance from a point charge all these points will have the same potential by connecting all these points we obtain a spherical equipotential surface for the point charge at any point on this surface the potential will remain the same it's important to note that there is not just one equipotential surface we can imagine several equipotential surfaces at a fixed distance from the point charge as you can see in the animation so an equipotential surface can be defined as any surface where every point has the same potential this is what we refer to as an equipotential surface now let's talk about the properties of equipotential surface number 1 on an equipotential surface the potential difference between any two points is zero to understand this let's consider two points a and b on an equipotential surface if we look at the potential difference between these points it will be Va minus Vb, and since we know that on an equipotential surface the potential is same everywhere, so Va will be equal to Vb, resulting in a potential difference of zero. Number two, on moving a charge from one point to another on an equipotential surface, the net work done is always zero. We can understand this through the potential difference equation. Work done WBA by charge equals VA minus VB. We have already discussed this relation in the first video of this chapter. As we know that on an equipotential surface, the potential at point A VA is the same as the potential at point B VB. Therefore, VA minus VB equals to zero, and consequently, the work done is also zero. Third and important property. The electric field and equipotential surface are always perpendicular to each other. This property can also be observed in the case of a point charge. We know that the point charge generates radially outward electric field. And now we can see in the animation there is 90 degree angle between the electric field and the equipotential surface. However, it's better to prove this. Let's assume an equipotential surface meaning that the potential at any point on this surface is the same to prove this let's consider two points a and b in our previous video of this chapter we derived that va minus vb is equal to dot product of the electric field vector e and the linear displacement vector dr between two points so we can also write this as e dr cos theta where theta is the angle between the electric field and dr now Since V A is equal to V B on an equipotential surface, V A minus V B becomes zero, and what we have left is E D R cos theta equals to zero. We know that both the electric field E and D R are not zero, so the only way for E D R cos theta is to be zero is if cos theta equals to zero, and we know that value of cos theta is zero for ninety degrees. This proves that. the electric field and the equipotential surface are indeed perpendicular to each other and now the fourth property says that 
the two equi potential surfaces will never intersect each other let's understand why let's assume that two equi potential surfaces s1 and s2 are intersecting and as we discussed in the previous property the electric field is always perpendicular to the equi potential surface now if we observe at the intersection of both surfaces the electric field has two different directions which is impossible furthermore at the intersection there should be two different potential values v1 due to s1 and v2 due to s2 having two potential values at one point is also impossible this is the reason why two equi potential surfaces cannot intersect each other okay now that we understand all these properties we can proceed to draw and visualize equi potential surfaces in both 2d and 3d let's move on to our next topic drawing and visualizing equi potential surfaces in 2d and 3d as well let's begin by drawing equi potential surfaces for a simple point charge and we'll understand some important points related to these surfaces so we have a point charge for which we want to draw equi potential surfaces we already know that for a point charge the electric field is directed radially outward as we discussed earlier due to the property that the electric field and equi potential surfaces are perpendicular to each other we can represent the equi potential surfaces in 2d as concentric circles these circles indicate the equi potential surfaces at different distances from the point charge it's important to note that as we move closer to the charge the electric field strength increases so the equi potential surfaces are closer conversely as we move away from the charge the gap between the equi potential surfaces increases here is an important point to understand as we get closer to the charge the potential of a equi potential surface becomes higher and gradually decreases radially outward from this we can note that the potential decreases along the direction of the electric field in 3d we can visualize equi potential surfaces as concentric spherical cells these cells provide a 3d representation of equi potential surfaces similar to the concentric circles in 2d this visualization help us to understand how potential changes around a point charge and how it relates to the electric field direction let's understand the case of equi potential surfaces for two positive charges in a previous video within this series we visualized the pattern of electric field lines during the interaction of two positive charges knowing that equi potential surfaces are perpendicular to the electric field we can draw some closed curves in a way that they are perpendicular to the electric field lines these curves will represent the equi potential surface for two positive charges by doing this we can draw more equi potential lines which will show us the distribution of equi potential surfaces around two positive charges as a result we see that equi potential lines are more widely spaced in region where the electric field lines is weaker and closer where the electric field is stronger finally we consider equi potential surfaces for two positive charges we get a pattern that allow us to visualize this in 3d this pattern help us to understand how the equi potential surfaces are distributed around the positive charges and how they relate to the electric field lines in this scenario now let's discuss the last and final case which is drawing and visualizing equi potential surfaces for an electric dipole we have already understood the electric field pattern of a dipole in the animation provided in this video the link is given in the description box so now we know that the electric field pattern of a dipole looks somewhat like this in this case as well we draw curves perpendicular to the electric field lines creating oval patterns that represents the equi potential lines for the dipole unlike the previous case here between the two charges of the dipole the equi potential lines are closer as we know the center of a dipole has a potential of zero this zero potential at the center is represented by a perpendicular straight line from the center on which every point has zero potential 
In 3D, we can visualize equipotential surfaces of a dipole somewhat like this, where plane perpendicular to the axis of the dipole represents the equatorial position around the dipole where potential is equals to zero. In general, we create imaginary equipotential surfaces to better understand the distribution of electric potential in space. These surfaces can take any shape as long as every point on the surface has the same potential. But do equipotential surfaces physically exist? To understand this, if we bring a positive test charge close to a positive source charge, we know that as we get closer to the source charge, the potential becomes higher. If we release the test charge, it will naturally move from higher potential to lower potential. This shows that a charge moves in response to the potential difference. If the initial and final points have the same potential, the charge will not move. If we talk about a charged conductor, where all the charges ripple and accumulate on the surface, where they do not move along the surface. As the charges are not moving along the surface, this indicates that the potential across the surface remains the same, which means the potential difference is zero. In conclusion, we can observe that the surface of any conductor is an equipotential surface, which exists physically. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.